So good morning. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second day of the BSR conference here in beautiful San Francisco, California. My name is Jeremy Prepsis, and I'm BSR's Regional Managing Director for Asia, based in Hong Kong. My job this morning is, is to introduce you to and then facilitate a Q&A with this morning's plenary speaker, the Chairman and CEO of Broad Air, Cheng Yue. Before I jump into introducing our plenary speaker, it's worth pausing a few minutes and reflecting a bit on the themes we've heard at the conference so far. Our morning panel yesterday, as well as subsequent keynotes and a variety of sessions throughout the day, illustrated themes that you'll hear and find in Zheng Yue's story, business, and philosophy. The ideas we've begun exploring at this conference around innovating for sustainability, systems redesign, and the power of networks. As we think about the challenges for the next 25 years, from poverty to global climate change to the environmental deficit we've been running, a few ideas stand out which are imperative for change and words that have been echoed already here today and yesterday. Leadership, a vision of our role within planetary boundaries, innovation deriving from a global society, and how a business can and should prosper in the future economy. We've heard perspectives from the Amazon to the Middle East, from business to government. Now, how might a Chinese business leader think about these themes? This is why I'm excited to have the opportunity to introduce to you Zheng Yue today. Zheng Yue is the chairman and CEO of Broad Air, as well as the vice chair of the United Nations Environment Program Sustainable Building and Climate Initiative. His business and his story are remarkable and founded on an evolving and inspirational vision which well illustrates the challenges our businesses face today and in the future. As BSR has grown our presence in the past few years in China to three offices and more than 26 staff, we've, had, we've begun interacting more regularly and at senior levels with increasing numbers of Chinese business and Chinese business leaders about sustainability and corporate responsibility. We've had the fortune to meet, visit, and talk with Zheng Yue at his headquarters in Changsha, China, and have found, as the Wall Street Journal described him, to be, Zheng has become a spokesman for China's new capitalism. As we think about questions asked yesterday as to why China is taking significant steps in addressing global climate change, well, one of your answers is here today speaking on the stage. Because he represents such a unique perspective, and because this is the first Chinese CEO that we've had as a plenary speaker here at BSR, I'd like to give you a little bit of context as to why his viewpoints are interesting and important to us as an audience. Broad Air is a privately held global multinational business focusing on air conditioning with sales and operations around the world, but probably is relatively unknown to most of us here. It is a business, however, with a rich history and story. The story of Broad Air and Zheng Yue is a story of entrepreneurialism. Zheng Yue is one of the first generation of Chinese entrepreneurs starting building businesses at, after the, opening, the economic opening of China. He and his brother started Broad Air on $3,000. Now, you know, many times we hear about Chinese companies competing on lowest cost and lowest price. This is actually not Broad Air. They're an innovative technology company with hundreds of patents and products and services, some of whom you've already seen, that provide cooling solutions for major buildings around the world. The story of Broad Air and Zheng Yue is a story of focus and investment. At its core, Broad Air is built on air conditioning units, which Broad Air manufactures, sells, and installs around the world in buildings from Beijing to the Qualcomm headquarters here in, San Francisco, in California. The story of Broad Air and Zheng Yue is also a story of success. Zheng Ye is one of the 100 richest Chinese people in the world, according to Forbes magazine in 2008, and has also been previously famous as the first Chinese entrepreneur to buy and fly a private jet. But what makes the story particularly interesting and compelling to us here today at the BSR conference is the focus, the vision, and the resulting environmental impact of the company. Let's talk a little bit about the core business of broad air, air conditioning. But you shouldn't think here about normal electrical AC systems that you might have in your home or in your office. Instead, the core product of Broad Air is based on non-electrical refrigeration technologies, which creates actually a triple win. Sales for Broad Air, savings for the 
customer where it has been installed because the electrical efficiency is often up to twice as effective as normal electrical units and significantly decrease CO2 emissions. Let's also talk a little bit about the business choices made by Zheng Ye that are deeply embedded in his business, and there are two in particular worth noting. First, a strategic focus on his core product. Despite internal corporate debate, external advice, and market opportunity, Broadair has not expanded its line to include regular electrical air conditioning systems. As Zheng Ye shared at dinner yesterday, he's kept his business focus on environmentally responsible products. The second business choice relates to where and how growth is being driven from his core business. Broadair actually regularly advises its clients on how they can reduce the need for his core product, air conditioning. However, Broadair is focused not only reducing the demand for air conditioning, but eliminating it in entirely. Through sustainable business design, as you saw in the video, um, Zheng Ye believes we could save up to 80% of building energy use. Well, what does that mean? Well, in China, it's estimated that buildings use approximately 50% of all energy consumption. Um, in the United States, according to the Energy Secretary Stephen Chu, businesses and buildings use up to 57% of total energy. Mr. Zhang believes that through sustainable building design, we could find savings up to one-third of total global energy usage. So what happens if your goal is to put your core offering out of business? Well, you create a new goal, a business model focused on building energy management. After all, air conditioning is not actually a desired consumer outcome. A comfortable living and working environment is. And finally, these business model evolu evolutions are not based on accident, but based on vision, learning, and philosophy. Mr. Zhang has said his focus isn't on growth, but on health. Bigger is not necessarily healthier. Today, Mr. Zhang will offer his insight on this topic as he speaks about development. Is growth really the only way forward? Now, let's come back to that airplane that I mentioned, actually planes, which Mr. Zhang bought because he loves to fly, until he realized one sobering thought. The flight from Changsha, his corporate headquarters, to Beijing, 3,000 kilometers away, equals the amount of CO2 absorbed by eight mature trees over the course of 60 years. And since then, his corporate jet is only used when efficiency allows, and Mr. Zhang flies commercial. Together, these business models result in annual reductions of CO2 equivalent to 160 million and eight trees every year. This is systems rethink. This is a business redesign based on executive vision and environmental impact. 